The bottlenose dolphin, or porpoise, is well known for its entry into rivers and estuaries and its play about the bows of moving ships. These porpoises make several kinds of underwater noises, the most common of which are a canary-like or bird-like whistle and a rapid series of intermittent clicks or clacks which sometimes resemble a creaking door or a rusty hinge. In 1952 and 1953, the Oceanographic Institute of Florida State University made numerous records of these noises, both from captive and from wild specimens. Here are the sounds made by two captive porpoises or dolphins at the Lerner Marine Laboratory at Bimini in the Bahama Islands. <coughs> In the recording which follows, which was made at the Daytona Sea Zoo, four porpoises probably took part. One was at times very close to the hydrophone or underwater microphone. Here are the sounds of a school of 20 or more wild porpoises swimming freely in the Gulf of Mexico in the vicinity of the marine laboratories of the Florida State University Oceanographic Institute. They are first heard at a distance of about a quarter of a mile from our boat, which contains the sound recording gear. They then swim directly toward the boat and pass beneath it. Their sounds stop as they come abreast of the boat.
exactly how the dolphin uses these sounds is a question of considerable interest and scientific importance. In order to study them more carefully, we can slow down the noises or spread them out in time in a manner analogous to that of slow motion moving pictures. This increases the duration of the sounds, but it also reduces their pitch or intensity. Here are a series of porpoise noises which are reproduced at one half of their original speed. They are therefore twice as long in this recording as when the porpoises actually made them. We shall now slow down the sounds eight times. The whistle has been reduced three full octaves in pitch or frequency. The clicks or clacks stand out as sharp, explosive pulses of sound. Noises which follow have been reduced 32 times in playback speed. What was formerly a click now sounds like two pieces of wood striking together. These noises are now slow enough so that most human ears can detect the echoes which follow each individual unit. In water, echoes are reflected from the bottom and from the upper surface of the water, as well as from objects in a horizontal plane. In the following sounds, which are here reproduced 64 times slower,
than they originally occurred, the echo can be clearly heard as a booming reverberation after almost every pulse. The presence of these echoes lends support to the notion that the porpoise probably locates objects in the water by listening to the reflected echoes of his own noises. <laughs>